Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the farm. So, today we are going to work on our corn harvest. I just got one thing to show you guys here quick. Um, actually two things. So, here we have the bobcat in the bucket. Uh, actually this is a brand new bucket. I sold the old one because I bought a different one thinking that it would be better. But it ended up being super small. Uh, so I just had to rebuy the bucket. But no big deal. But I also got this uh, blade for the bobcat. Uh, it came out of this caterpillar skid steer pack. Um, you can see it here. Uh, this is the bucket that I had bought, but it is really, really small. I thought it would be better size and would look a little nicer, but it didn't. Um, and then there's also this. It cuts tree stumps, evidently. But, uh, yeah, so we got that. And then uh, I figured out what the issue was with the auger here. Why, like, when I dumped into the bin, there was nothing in there. It's because this auger also picked up... What the world? Also picked up straw, and it was holding straw. And that's why it would... Uh, it wouldn't load like it wouldn't put anything in there so i i got the all fruit silo i figured out why why that was not showing up uh it's because it was missing the universal process kit script uh so i went and downloaded that and then i placed that in and i just bought the actually got two load or a load and a half of soybeans uh, it's a tish more than we actually had but uh I mean, it was like maybe a couple hundred liters, that was it. Um, and then it actually didn't cost anything to pull soybeans out of there, so. But then I brought the bobcat over here uh, with 17. If you take a bucket and run it through the windrows, it will pick them up. Um, so I did that, and I picked up all of the straw in, this, in a big area around uh, this, around this set of bins here. So now we should have no issues with that anymore. Hopefully. But, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off corn harvest here. And see how well we can do uh, in our on our yield for this. See if we can't do a little bit better than we have been doing for other crops. So hopefully we can do a little bit better, but uh, we'll just have to see. Come on. This is also a bit smaller um, of a header than our draper, so... It will take a little bit longer to harvest this field, but shouldn't be too bad. Uh, on these outside rows, it's going to be a little bit tougher to combine in cab, but once we uh, once we start going up and down the rows, I will combine in cab just because with a corn head, it is kind of simple. You just line it up. And away you go. Uh, and our hitter actually needs to come up a little bit. There we go. Oh, and I'm getting off course here because I was focusing on that. So once you get it kind of lined up, then you just follow that row and it's usually pretty good. So like right here, this is usually how I combine corn. Um, just because it is pretty pretty simple, it's a little bit easier to follow. You just follow the row straight down and away you go. Now it is going to be the tricky part. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. 
That could have been bad. I want to combine this little section over here first and then we can do the rest of the field. We're already about halfway full, so we might have a pretty good yield on corn. And like I said, this money that we have now, we will use um, or put towards uh, more equipment uh, coming in the winter time probably is when we'll upgrade. Um, our equipment or maybe after harvest even something we'll figure out a good time to do it but um, we'll probably I guess it probably will be spring that we do it because we'll fast forward uh, you know after we finish our harvest we'll fast forward until um, you know until sometime in the winter or until we get a great demand for wheat, uh, beans, or corn. And then we'll be able to start selling. Uh, and then come winter time, we will have to move snow. Uh, we will also have to move it on the uh, dirt roads uh, to get to the elevators. But uh, that won't be too, too big of a deal. Uh, that's kind of why when I saw the blade, um, you know, I saw the skid steer mod or the cat skid steer pack, and then I saw that it had a blade in it, and I figured that'd be really nice for on here because then it'd be a little bit easier for plowing the roads uh, than the bucket would be, just because it, you know, the bucket we'd have to be continuously dumping it. With the blade, we can just, you know, make two passes you know one each direction pushing the snow to either side and then we'll be done we won't have to just drive a little bit turn dump the bucket into the ditch you know turn back do it again it'll make things a little bit easier even in the farmyard um, you know we can use the blade to kind of push stuff around and then use the bucket to kind of scoop up piles scoop it up and make it into piles uh, or scoop up any piles that the blade creates so that uh, that'll definitely help make it to the end before we fill yes we can cool we're going to go just like that. Hop on into our wagon tractor here. But yeah, it, the reason that the augers pick up the um, straw and stuff like that is because they're scripted as a conveyor, basically. Uh, I think. I'm pretty sure that they're just basically a conveyor belt is what the game is registering them as. Um, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but I, I'm fairly certain that it, they are scripted as like, uh, conveyor belts and stuff just because that's, you know, what, since 17 has the conveyor belts in it, uh, I'm sure that was probably, probably what's simplest. Uh, I would imagine that it is the simpler way to go for it. since there's already similar stuff out. But uh, it is kind of annoying how it picks up the um, straw and stuff like that, but I guess just got to watch it and make sure that it doesn't get into that area. And if it does, then just try and fix it as best as possible in this case the best fix was taking the bobcat and scooping up a bunch of that straw and dumping it into piles that are well beyond the uh, reach of the augers and 
uh, that seemed to work just fine. It did take me a while to get it so that the uh, auger didn't have any, the farm king didn't have anything in it. Um, because like the first time I dumped it and of course I was right by a windrow and I was like, oh, that was dumb. But then uh, the second time I did it and it, I thought I was far enough, but evidently the farm king wants to reach like super duper far out. So I just, um, I drove, you know, I let it fill or whatever it wanted to do. And then I drove a distance away, you know, and then, um, stuck the spout way out into the field and made sure I was well away from straw and stuff like that. And then just dumped it and, uh, all seemed to work fine then and. And then I got it uh, moved away from the straw so that it wouldn't do it anymore. And then I was able to fill our bin up. Um, I should bring up the... Come on, Google Chrome. Open up, please. Should have opened this before I started the video, but I forgot to. Come on. Um. Okay, here we go. So, our soybeans um, on field 27 there, we ended with 20,957 liters or 594.7 bushels, and that was just over 99 bushels to the acre. Again, pretty high and crazy, but uh, so we had about a thousand bushels of. Uh, soybeans or so. And how am I getting off course already here? Guess I was one row too far. But, uh, so we had a pretty decent amount of soybeans, I guess, for, you know, the size of that field. It was only, I think that one was only six acres or something like that, or four maybe. Uh, I know none of our fields really are very large right now, but... Uh, I think our largest is uh, field 2829. Man. Okay, I think I need to just go out of cab to line myself up. And then I can go in cab because it does not seem to be lining up very well. Or I don't seem to be lining up very well, I guess I should say. Yeah, so I'm glad that I f was able to fix that little issue there. Because it was kind of annoying me. Or not kind of. It was It was really annoying me. It was starting to get on my nerves. Uh, that, you know, every single time I try and unload uh, into an auger or move an auger, I would have an auger full of straw. And that was just really getting annoying. See, another thing that I forgot to do was log out of Steam yet again. Oh well. Should be fine. We're already halfway full again. We're going to have to move our tractor here when we get to the end of the row because it's going to be right smack in the way. Oh 
maybe not. Maybe we can get around it. Ah, uh, nope. But we are going to have to have it moved anyways and, and after a little while when we fill again, so might as well just move it right now. Right there's fine. go again. There's a little dip in the field there. And it kind of continues all the way over. Um, if you remember from like our planting videos and stuff and other field work videos that there is a bit of a dip there in the field. Out of cab to line this up again. Normally I can kind of gauge it pretty well, but I don't know why. Ooh. We're three quarter of the way full now. We'll be able to dump the combine. Well, if we don't fill up, uh, well, we, I don't think we'll fill up necessarily on this little bit, but if we just so happen to fill up, then we can dump it, but if we don't, we'll just dump the combine anyways, because it will be, if it doesn't fill up off of this little bit here, it will be pretty close. Maybe. You can dream, right? <laughs> be close to 90% maybe we definitely will have a decent amount but it'll be it'll be enough that it'll it'll pay to unload right here versus uh, combine a little bit and then fill Right. See if I can get this auger lined up from uh, Incav here. Ah, first try. So we've uh, barely finished, or we haven't even done our headlands yet and completely, and we've almost got a full wagon already. I think we're going to do three passes along this edge here. That should be enough. Just hoping that this combine doesn't start sliding. Huh? I guess it shouldn't. The terrain kind of just slopes downwards. Doesn't really kind of come back up or anything, so it shouldn't slide around. This header is actually a little bit nicer than uh, that six row that we started out with because this is an eight row header and our corn planter is also an eight row. So it kind of 
works out a little better this way uh, than it did with the uh, six row. I mean, in real life, it'd be it would pay to have a similar row planter uh, and header, more s mostly on like your end rows, because uh, then you follow like if you had like a 24 row planter and maybe a 12 row header and be about oh right of course this is farm sim so it doesn't matter what way you plant it the corn is always going to grow the same it would be nice if uh, the way that you planted was the way that things grew here in farm sim that'd be a kind of a neat kind of a nice thing to have add some more realism to the game but this is farming simulator so can't really expect too much I guess so we've combined about 10 hectares already that's what the combine shows and it shows that we've combined already a hectare just in this video here because that one there is the current session, I think. And then that one is like the total. Uh, let's look here once. Um, harvesting time. Harvested hectares, acres. So that actually the total is 15.18. But uh, our session is 1.08. So that's correct. But uh, the 10.3 is not. It's far from it, actually. I have had that happen in other uh, save games as well. But, like, it corrects itself after I've harvested, you know, part of a hectare or something like that. But it wasn't that big of a gap. It wasn't as big of a gap as it is now. So, I don't know. Kind of strange. I can we can go through and delete all these courses um, because uh, I have actually deleted the save game that all these are from uh, my large series or large farm save game whatever and uh, I'm not not playing that one anymore. Stop here and delete all these. So now we can make course play courses for this map and not have them interfering at all with uh, the other one with my other save game uh, and vice versa. So I'm just going to go right here and make a straight edge and then when we come, you know, we can come back down and cut that little bit there. So we've got one headland up on that end of the field. And hopefully we can make it all the way to the end of this row here before we fill. Because we're taking a completely full header here, so... It's, uh, that we're actually taking one more row than the header would be, but I think we're taking out nine rows right now. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it! <laughs> Forget it, we're taking out more rows than the header is designed for. I know that. Anything farther, I don't care. I'm not going to pay attention to it. I'm just going to keep combining. It's going to be close. I don't think we're going to make it. Nope. Dang. That sucks. Hmm.
What would be so nice is if you could unload when the auger is folded in, like you can in real life. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you can just start the unloading on the auger, you know, whenever. Uh, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure somebody else would know a little bit more about that than me, uh, as I'm not really around combines all that much. But, uh, I have seen a lot of videos where they're opening up the field and they just kind of stick the auger out just a little bit to line it up right for the tractor and uh, grain cart and then they can start unloading like that and that's the way that they do it when they're splitting open the field and stuff so I would imagine you could do it when he well I would assume that you can do it all the way in because I have seen videos of things where there is stuff uh, like they're pulling something behind the combine that they can dump into so I would assume that they can I don't know but I'm not around combines and stuff as much as I am hay machines uh, as we don't do crops but uh, I do have family that does or well did um, my grandpa on my mom's side he retired so he doesn't anymore but his brother still farms and also my uncle um, that'd be his son uh, my grandpa's son he actually farms my grandpa's part of the land so I go down there every once in a while alright let's get back at it here get this opened up here uh, so we are just about out of time I will be able to continue uh, tomorrow so I think I'm just gonna go to right here I don't think we have to go all the way over there because there's plenty of room over there to turn around definitely more room over there than there is right here and we are already 25% full again so our corn is yielding really really nicely uh, it's doing better than any of our other crops did so far Not quite sure what I want to do for crops uh, next season, or next year. Um, I'm thinking maybe, well it all it's all going to depend on whether or not we convert over to uh, the later, the latest version of the map, which I think I might, um, but I'm not going to do any of that until we have sold off all of our grain because then all I gotta convert over is the money and the machines and then you know because after we sell our grain it's gonna be just about spring and then what we can do is um, you know then we can do our upgrades and then start our spring field work and then also you know 
figure out which fields we're going to upgrade to and stuff like that. Uh, although, actually, I kind of already know. Uh, as I've said before, I'm thinking field 26, and then uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You know, it's really adding a lot more land, but in reality, a lot of them are smaller fields. Like, field 10 is really tiny. Field 11 is pretty small. 6 is really tiny. Uh, this little chunk coming off of field 7, that's not very big. I mean, 9 is about the biggest there. And that one's probably a little bit bigger than 28 and 29. So, I mean, it's not like we're upgrading to suddenly ginormous fields. We're just upgrading to more fields that are fairly smaller still. So, uh, it's going to kind of be about, about right. But uh, that is going to do it for today, guys. Um, when we come back, we will get that green gravity wagon unloaded because we are going to be full with the combine pretty soon. Um, so, yeah. Let's get this lined up here and get it ready to rock and roll. Yeah, that is going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.